my dear brothers and sisters in Christ, this weekend we once again have heard the story of our Lord Jesus Christ trying to demonstrate before his, the crowd, before his audience, that the key to life belongs to him. He has the key to our existence. I am the life and the resurrection. People sometimes doubted whether he had the key or not. But then he used this opportunity to prove that he has the power. That he has the power, the key to life, the key to our existence. He also used the opportunity to encourage us Christians, followers of Jesus Christ, to never lose our hope. Jesus continues to teach his people about himself, about the power that he has, about what he can do for all of us, Christians and followers of Jesus Christ. When I was reflecting or preparing my homily this evening or this weekend for this weekend's Mass, I was just recalling a lot of things that we do in our life, especially when we are faced with difficult situations. Our natural reaction usually is fear. We tend to be so much afraid, so much terrified, especially if our life is at stake. Whenever our life is at stake, that natural reaction of fear comes in right away. I don't think any human being can avoid it. Even the Holy Father will not be able to avoid it. That very fear is part and parcel of our human existence. And I think it's good for us to be afraid. Sometimes. But not to overly be afraid. Because if you become overly afraid, it becomes more of a problem. But fear is always there. <clears throat> because I know that fear helps us Fear helps us to work very hard to do something. And so fear is not something so negative. If it is negative, I don't think God would have allowed that at all to be in our life because he has the power to remove it. But then, when it's all about how have we used that very fear, have we allowed it to linger for a long time to the extent that we get so much paralyzed? So fear is part and parcel of our life. But I recall stories of what we have, some of us here probably have experienced it. I was watching a YouTube video that has to do with um, these uh, uh, doctors from Cuba. When this coronavirus you know, started and invaded, and started very, 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 and progressing very well, and in Italy, precisely, and it happened, as, all, as we all know, in Italy at the time, became the epicenter of this very virus. And these people were sent, these doctors were sent, so they were decided to go and help. And I was imagining to myself, these people know that this place they are going, they probably might not come back, because almost like going to the den of lion but they still did not even give up. And I was wondering, thinking about, about it in myself, what actually was motivating these people? What actually was inspiring them? It was all, they, of course, they were afraid. There are some elements of you know, fear in them anyway, but the fear in them was not, I mean, the courage they have was far much greater than the fear. They did not allow the fear they have to prevent them from what they are supposed to do. I see this in many times when anything very dangerous or hazardous happens in our life, in our society, even the first responders, you see them jumping, even when there is a fire outbreak. They know that fire can kill you, but still, you see people running, rushing, going to quench this very fire. That is usually fear, but the courage that they have is beyond that very fear. 
And that's what we are encouraged to imitate in our life. It doesn't mean we can completely remove fear in our life, but let us allow the courage, the resilience that God has given to us individually to overcome that very fear. Because if we allow it to overcome that very fear, we will be able to conquer. We see this in the life of the Israelites. Remember the story of the Exodus, the Exodus experience. When the Israelites were about to cross the Red Sea, we know what it means that when, when they were asked, when the leader was asked to use that very, you know, the, right, the, the, the stick and to divide the very river and people will pass through, through the, the middle of the river, the big ocean. Even when the Israelites were about to pass there, I'm sure they had that very fear. They were afraid because even myself, I know I will be very much afraid. But that fear they had did not allow them, did not prevent them from the very courage and faith and belief they have in God. They believe that God, no matter what is happening, God has asked them to do this and they're gonna, they will do it. And that's why they followed it because of the courage, the hope, they did not allow the fear to be so overwhelmed, that they, not let themselves be overwhelmed by fear. And that's exactly what we are called to do. Look at the story of Jesus Christ today when he healed Lazarus, his friend. In our life, I know that it's difficult for us to raise someone from the dead. And if I tell you that I'm going to raise your brother or your sister from dead, if I'm saying it right now, you'll be thinking, oh, Father Ferdinand is running nuts. But Jesus said it. And the people... The, these very people, of course, they had some level of doubt, but the doubt they have was very little. The faith they have in God, the belief they have in Jesus Christ was more powerful. And that was why, even when they told Jesus, oh, this man has been in the, in the, in the tomb for four days, and Jesus told them, do you not believe what I have said? And immediately they said, yes, I do believe. And that rekindled in them again that very great faith in God great hope. And so, my dear friends, we are reminded this, we, this weekend, in all these readings, that even though we always get afraid in one way or the other, let us never allow our fear to be overly, you know, covering us. Rather, let us pick up the courage, the hope, the resilience that all of us have. And if we pick on that and work on that, I think God will always, you know, bless us. Let's pray that the grace of God will continue to love us and show us the way, inspire us and give us the courage. Because with courage, with hope, and with faith, we can overcome any difficulties that we face in our life. May the grace of God continue to be with us. Amen.